Uh, you're very welcome back here to uh, Mavel here in County Donegal. Extreme North is taking place and uh, two men here beside me. Two dubs in fact. We have uh, Brian and Jer. And uh, Brian, tell me, you're a dub. You're up here in Donegal. What's it all about? Why are you here? Um, well, we were here last year and uh, I really enjoyed the event. So I says I'll definitely come back this year. Beautiful parts of the country. Uh, running around the peninsula is fantastic now. You're not going to get better scenery. And uh, I just liked the, the organisation. I said I'd definitely come back this year. And Jerry, yourself as well, you're, you're a keen runner as far as I'm told, but Donegal challenging you? Absolutely. The first one today was extremely tough. Tough but enjoyable. They're always well put on here by Harold, and uh, we're always happy to come up. And tell me, lads, you're part of a club as well here. Uh, it's an Irish club, that is. it's the Irish Marathon Club, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. It's the Marathon Club of Ireland, and basically it's people who are interested in marathons. Why do you run one? Or we do have people in the club standing over there running 300 marathons, so it varies, different fitness levels, but it's all about the, the love of running, I suppose. Well, I suppose the club is there for people who enjoy running, but are all trying to get involved at different levels. Doing it on your own can be quite daunting, but as a club and a group, it makes that a little bit easier for everybody to join in and feel they're part of something. We have people from probably every county, I would think, and, uh, and uh, that's what happens when the, the races are held in different counties, there's always a bit of support from people. See, we don't train together, it's just uh, we run marathons together, basically. The four marathons in four days, let's take it back a bit. We're talking about people who's never done a marathon here, who are looking at getting into running, first of all, who are looking at their first 5k. What would you recommend? I, I'd probably try and make it run where it's scenic, I suppose, or make it enjoyable. If it's not enjoyable for them, if it's an ordeal, they probably won't sustain it. So maybe get involved in a running club or people of similar fitness levels who are going through the same ordeals, I suppose. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's uh, just to make it uh, enjoyable. People can come together. They don't have to be extremely fantastic runners. Yes, there is people there who are capable of sub three marathons week in, week out. But there's also people there who, who will do six hours. And it gives encouragement to everybody. Like, you know, you won't have to be afraid to tell them you're never going to be last. You know, there's always going to be people there to encourage you, help you along. If there's injuries, there's always that bit of advice, how to heal, how to look after yourself. If there's training tips, it's always there. You know, as I said, when you go out on your own, as I did 10 years ago, it can be quite worrying because you don't know anybody and the fear is there. At least with these groups now, and marathons like this where everybody kind of knows it, and there's a good family atmosphere, it's always that bit more helpful. What, what's key at this particular stage for, for yourselves, Brian? The more you do, obviously, the recovery gets a little bit easier, but you do have to look after yourself in the evenings. Uh, a bit of protein, definitely a bit of rest. If the legs are that sore, and you will be up in Donegal, uh, maybe a cold bath, a bit of icing might be required. The hardest part, I suppose, is uh, standing on the start line tomorrow. After that, you just get on with it. It's time-wise, boys, for people out there, you start chatting 40 marathons, people are looking at you going, are you for real? Um, time-wise, boys, what, what, what's the target for yourself, dear or Brian? Well, it's very difficult to uh, pick a target, especially in Donegal, because uh, to do four marathons in four days is probably not the easiest thing to be doing, but I think you might be foolish if you have a target set out initially, because anything can go wrong. You could, you could go really well, secretly, I don't think it's possible, not on day three, because it's quite tough. Secretly, it's not any more secret, but uh, four hours, I'd like to get around about that. Anyway. Yourself, dear? I think the same. It's, there's too much of a challenge. Each day is a different challenge. I think it'd be foolish to set yourself a marker and say, you know, it only takes a couple of miles to try off course. You know, so just to finish each day and finish comfortably to allow you to run the next day, I suppose, is the goal. All right, lads, enjoy the kayak and enjoy everything else and enjoy the flat kyol and dairy as well. Okay. Big thank you to uh, Brian and Jer here at uh, Extreme North in Moveau in County Donegal.